This is it. Look, we're live. Okay, this is a test um, to see if I can do a YouTube live from my phone. And because it's a test, it's also sort of spontaneous. Um, it's the night time here. It's 11 o'clock. My family are all in bed. And I thought, what can I do that's a useful use of my time? I'll see if I can go live on YouTube. And look, someone's joined us. Hugo. Hi, Rob. Hugo from France, right? I think we spoke before. If it's the same, Hugo. I don't know. Okay. And I thought, what can I do to test this live? What can I do to make it uh, valuable content for you guys? Um, so I thought a studio tour. Um, if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you've seen my YouTube videos. Today, I'm going to show you behind the scenes where I make the video. So here we are. It's actually my basement. What's the basement? Well, uh, sometimes you might hear the word cellar also. It's the room underneath your house um, where you don't really do much living. Most people keep stuff down there. And this is my basement. Okay, so um, I'll be covering some vocabulary, I suppose. And you know what? I should write this stuff down for you, shouldn't I? By the way, please comment, tell me anything that I'm doing wrong, because it's my first and spontaneous live. If I'm moving too fast or um, anything like that, please tell me. And hey, this is live, so we can. Oh. Thanks, look, someone's writing the, the vocab down for me. Brilliant, so I don't have to. I'm just gonna see, can I flip this camera around? If I do this? No, how about if I do this? Boom, camera is flipped around. So now we can try and write some vocab. Okay, here we are in the basement. Okay. Wow, even focuses. Okay. So what do I use to record? Here's my camera. I'm sure you all know the word camera. What ca is it? It's a Canon 600D. Um, it's backwards for you guys, obviously. That's why I had to flip the camera around before. Okay, so I use my Canon 600D. And I like it because, look, the screen comes out and it flips around. So when I'm recording myself, I can see exactly what I'm doing, which is great. Uh, hi there, Mark from Brazil. And here are my, let me hold this camera like this. Okay, I have to use this one. My lights. I've got four now. I did have two. Um, two here and I had two back home in England. And recently I went to England and my mum said, there's too much of your stuff here. You have to take some back home. So I brought my other light back in the suitcase. Uh, image and sound excellent. Thanks for the feedback. I think it's because I'm using this mic here. I don't really need this because I can't hear you guys. It's just for the microphone. Is there an emergency exit? Good question. Can you see the windows here? This is the street level. I guess it's not really a true basement. The street level is here. So. There's bars on the window for, for security, because I suppose it's low down. People could sneak in. Oh, that's an interesting verb, to sneak. To do something without being detected. People might sneak in. And there's bars, so you think, oh, what if there's a fire? I can't get out. But look, just here, there's some mechanism and a lever just there. All right. So that you can uh, open these bars on the window. Okay, back to my studio tour. Here's my green screen so that I can, when I'm filming in software afterwards, strip away the background and um, put whatever I want there. And it's just, it's just cloth. Look. It's just pieces of cloth. I actually keep lots of stuff behind there, messy stuff, and it's out of view, 
so no one can see the huge pictures and stuff that are behind there. Okay, so that's how I record. Uh, what other vocabulary can I give you? Uh, over here, this is the background I use sometimes. So I've got these. Uh, you might think, hey, they're small guitars. They're not. They're called ukuleles. And let me write that down. I'm going to look at some of your comments in a second, guys. Uh, ukulele. Focus on that. Now, this is controversial because some people say ukulele. And some people say, why aren't this thing focused? I prefer ukulele. Okay. I remind you guys, this is a test. So I'm seeing, seeing what I can do. Okay, and it seems I can't focus that close. There we go, ukulele. One of the vocabulary we have, I talked about my green screen, my camera, and my lights, you know, lights. Uh, oh, by the way, this thing, here's the camera. This thing, which keeps the camera stable. What's that? That's a tripod. Okay. Get the camera around. Oh, not the phone, just the camera. Okay, I've done that. Hey, how can I get my comments back? What part of England do you live in? Asks Mark. Um, well, I used to live in... Hang on, you can't see me. <laughs> I'm back. I used to live in Leicester in England, um, which is right in the middle of England. But I'm not actually in England anymore. Now I live in Frankfurt in Germany where I am right now. Let's see, sneak in what part of England. The image is mirrored in front of the camera. In front of the camera, if I flip the camera around, this is still mirrored. Hmm. It's freezing. Ah, you know what? I've actually got a wireless router I can use down here in the basement. So maybe I'll use that and I'll have better um, connection. What is the most expensive stuff you have in a cellar? <laughs> oh, I'm, I've told you I'm in Frankfurt. I'm not going to tell you the street I'm in. Um, maybe the camera. It's not that expensive. I got it from eBay. It was like 300 euros. The lights are really cheap. They're like 10 euros each. Um, this keyboard, there's another piece of vocabulary for you. It's a musical keyboard. On a computer, when you're typing, that's also called a keyboard. This keyboard was free. I put an advert on Facebook saying, does anybody in the area have a keyboard? I want one. And someone said, yeah, you can have this old keyboard. That was free. Um, here is my electric drum kit. Electric drum kit. And that was from eBay. It was about 150 euros. Uh, let's write that one down for you. <laughs> Electric drum kit. There you go, electric drum kit. Another piece of vocabulary for you. I think maybe the camera is the most expensive thing. I've got some guitars here too, um, but I never buy expensive guitars. I just buy cheap guitars because I'm not a really good musician, so it seems a waste to buy expensive guitars. Let's see what other comments we've got here. Uh, very interesting, your explanation about your studio. Brilliant. Wow. Image is okay now. Electric drums. Thanks. Sar Carida? Oh, sorry. Sar Sarida? Carida? Okay, what else can I show you? Here's where I keep my books. I'm sure you know that word, books. If you're following this, then your English must be at that level. These are mostly um, English teaching books, resource books, where I find my lessons this one's called business life um because you know I, I do teach i go out and i teach lessons mostly to adults i have taught children in the past okay what else is in the basement here are some storage boxes so that's um that's a verb we should talk about actually if we're talking about basement 
because although I record my videos in my basement, most people do store. Most people store things in their basement. And then we have the noun storage. Most people use their basements for storage. And hey, this word store is interesting because if you use this as a noun, a store, then that is actually American. And English people would say a shop. And I actually find it confusing that Americans say, go to the store. Oh, what's that? A place where they store things. Things. And I just find that confusing. So I say shop, not store. Because storage is just when you keep something somewhere, right? Ah, while we've got this view, let's talk about these things. Oh, that red thing behind, there's a silver one here. There's more silver ones there. What are they? They're pipes. Pipes. What kind of pipes are they? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what goes through there. Water from my toilet, water from other people's toilet in this building. Uh, <laughs> Someone says, all oh, your plush animals are upstairs. This person who wrote this must have been on my Instagram live with um, pronunciation with Emma because I got out some plush toys then. I have two children, so there are you will see some toys around, like here's a Peppa Pig house. But some toys, like the Ghostbusters X01 car and um, R2-D2 are mine because I'm an adult, but really kind of a child. But there are um, some toys down here because in in these boxes, um, some of them are full, not this one, some of them are full of toys. Um, I don't know how, but we get so many toys. We like to go to uh, flea markets. That's where people sell secondhand things and buy toys and they kids the kids get gifts and we buy toys for birthdays ah this is my box of uh, musical instruments you know what maybe we'll do a musical instruments vocabulary video one day this is a tambourine you know that bob dylan song hey mr tambourine man yeah no more toys here's a plush what's this a uh, unicorn, a horse with a with a horn. It's a unicorn. Yeah, I have two girls. Okay, um, <laughs> another pony. What else is in here? Oh, this is all Playmobil stuff. Ah, this is where I keep um empty boxes from my um all the things I buy. I got a new. Uh, microphone recently, this is a um, external CD drive because my computer doesn't have a CD drive, my um, GPS. But these are just the empty boxes and I keep them in case I want to sell the thing one day or in case it breaks and I have to send it back to the shop. Oh, toys, we did that one. Uh, <laughs> more, more toys. Here's some puppet. Here's a uh, dog, and uh, every now and again I, I take some toys from here and I change them with the toys which are upstairs so the kids have different things to play with. But that's not such useful vocabulary for you, is it? What's useful in here? Mm. Okay, let's go down here. Here are my boxes, and in these boxes are. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get out. In these boxes are files. It's stored files. And you know that word from um, computer language, right? Open a new file. Well, it comes from 
the old traditional paper. So in these boxes, filing boxes. Phrasal verbs, question mark. Um, yeah. I, I missed the last phrasal verb Friday. If you've been following me a little bit, you know that every first Friday of every month, I do a phrasal verb Friday where I talk about a phrasal verb or some phrasal verb. And actually yesterday, I released a new phrasal verb Friday video, but it was a lazy one. Instead of making a kind of drama action sequence like I like to, I, I did a song. Um, I like to do that too. Um, hey, thanks, Mark. This video? Really? Okay. Maybe I should do lives more often, um, and maybe they should be a bit more planned in the future. Uh, hey, guys. Listen, I need your input because I want I want to know um, what kind of videos I should make in the future. So if you've got any ideas or any videos that you want, tell me because I need to make more videos and I need to get more subscribers and more views because I'm still way below the amount of subscribers and watch time that I need to get some money to get paid for all of this videos work that I do. I love making videos and I really love editing the videos. It's weird, but I love editing the videos and doing the special effects even more than I like recording and writing the videos. And uh, hey, if I can get some money for that, that would be great. But what videos should I make to get more people to watch or to get people to watch for longer? Think about it and tell me. Okay, let's look for some other useful vocabulary in my basement. You know what, let's go to the other side. This, this side is um, my side. This is where I, um, well, let's look at this shelf over here. This is my bit where I keep all my stuff, where I do my recording, and my fingers over the lens there. Um, here's some more files. These are my teaching files. Every one of these is a different lesson I teach. Um, yeah, actually, there's not much that useful here. OK, in here is some. Spray paint. It's paint in a can, and you spray it. The verb to spray. It's spray paint. This is a black one. Here's a blue one, orange one. Okay, and What about these things? You know what these are called? These are headphones. And if you have these ones, they're actually called something different in English. Earphones. So those ones that go over your head, headphones. And the other ones which just stick in your ear, earphones. Headphones and Earphones. Oh, and hey guys, look, those of you who've joined us a little bit later, there's all this vocabulary. When I can focus on it, that we that I looked at in here. Go back and have a look. Oh, while we're here, huh? these two things. This, well, they're actually speakers. Anything which puts out sound is called. Uh, speaker. This one here is a Bluetooth speaker. This one here is a bit old. Uh, it's not Bluetooth. You have to plug in. Can you imagine? <laughs> like in the old days. And this one is in the style of an amplifier. If a speaker is made specifically for a musical instrument like a guitar, usually that's called an Amplifier. There we go. Okay. So I wouldn't say that's a real amplifier. It's just a small speaker, but it's cool. I like it because you can put it on distortion and it really, uh, even though it's really small, it's not very loud, but it gives a really interesting sound. And when I, I plug my ukulele through it, I really like it. Um, you can check out on Instagram. 
on the Red English page recently. I did a, I used I used this small speaker and this ukulele, and I did a, a version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song, and we looked at some vocabulary from that. Okay, room. Here are some. You know what these are called? If you watch my furniture vocabulary video, you'll know that they are called drawers. One drawer. A chest of drawers. Drawers. What's that word? It's spelt like drawer. Uh, oh. Drawer. Drawers. A drawer, some drawers. But hey, I know what you're all asking. What's in the drawers? Let's find out. All this kind of stuff. Uh, pencils. This uh, sticky stuff you use to stick. Uh, in here we've got some... Ugh, can't open it with one hand. Hang on a sec. Mm, you know what those are called? Paper clips. Paper clips. Uh, tape. This particular tape is uh, masking tape. It's kind of like paper and you can use it. You can write on it if you want. Of course, I'm a teacher, so I've got my whiteboard markers. Uh, a ruler to measure or to draw a straight line. This one is metal and I use it for um, cutting with a knife. This stuff, let's talk about this again. In French, it's a belle pâte à fixe. And that's the, I don't know if that's the, the company name or the brand name. In, in England, it's called blue tap. And that's not like a name for the type of thing, that's the company name. And it's not spelled B-L-U-E, it's blue tack. And everybody calls it blue tack, which is, oh, come on, focus, which is the company name. And everyone else just, I suppose if you don't call it blue tack, you just call it the sticky stuff you put things on the wall with. What else did we talk about in there? We talked about the ruler. We talked about um, tape. That kind of tape was masking tape. But you can also have, um, you know, when it's Christmas and you buy Christmas presents, if you do, maybe you don't, maybe uh, that doesn't happen in your country. Uh, but if you want to wrap something in paper, you might use some sticky tape. And what else is in the drawer? Pencil. I'm sure you know that word. Come on. Pencil. First word you learn at school, right? Oh, and um, paper. Clips. Paper clips. We saw some paper clips. Okay, let's come back. Um, do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I told, I told you the storage boxes, that these are called storage boxes. And we talked about the verb to store and the noun storage. But what's in these? What do you think? It's just old clothes. And all of it is baby clothes. You know, kids, they grow so fast, they wear clothes for like a few months. And then they're too small and they come down here. Some of them are clothes from my oldest daughter and they're waiting until my youngest daughter is the same size so she can wear them some of them are just too small finished maybe we'll give them away maybe we'll sell them at a flea market ah uh, here's <laughs> here's my robot mask which i made from a box and some cardboard um this is something I used in one of my videos, which video, the video, different ways to say yes. So if you haven't seen that video, you can go and check 
that guy out in action. Why did I keep it? I think I might use it again. I like it. Good. Okay. Oh, hey, what's in the oops? What's in the bottom drawer here? All kinds of uh what can I call this? Audio equipment, mostly stuff um little recorder. Earlier, here's a mini tripod for a mobile phone. All kinds of ah, this is a good word for you. Things like this. And look, I've got loads in here. What are these? What are they called? What are they called? Well, they're called wires or cables. What's the difference between a wire and a cable? It's a good question. And I don't know, maybe a wire is small and a cable is quite big, but generally they mean the same thing. If you said, hey, pass that wire, pass that cable, um, I'd hand you the same thing. Yeah, wires and cables. Let me flip the camera back around. Wires and cables in there. Mm, here is <laughs> a, a waffle maker to make waffles. You know waffles? They're like a traditional Belgian, like a pancake, but more fluffy. That's here because we never use it upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hey, you five guys, let's, let's keep this going. Um, That's the door that goes upstairs to my apartment. This door goes to the car park. And here is some of my art from my kids. I didn't paint this, my, my kids painted it. And this is one of the only um, bits in the house which is metal and we can stick it with Ah, with this is another good word for you. Look, this small thing here, this thing here, this thing here, and these are picture frames which have one on the back. Maybe it's similar in your language. I'm sure this is a word which is um, similar in lots of languages. It's called a magnet. A magnet. magnet and it sticks to metal or metal sticks to it you know um this is my first live i've not read any of the comments for a while let's go back ruler blue tack yeah pacific ikea boxes bender oh the robot right waffle gopher don't know that Oh, you're, you're translating, thanks. Okay. Oh, gopher. Yeah, gopher. This is the other side of the basement. Kind of, it's like two rooms, really. You walk through here, and then you can go to the next bit. It's quite big, you know? When, when we, they were showing us around the apartment, they showed us around the apartment, and I was like, oh, that's okay. And then they showed us the basement. <laughs> I was like, wow, this place is huge. Really lucky to live here. Really lucky to have this big basement. Look, there's too much stuff here to do the vocabulary of everything. Uh, uh, I don't know where to start. Here's a food mixer, or some people call it a blender. Here, it's a kid's bike helmet. It's a metal, not metal, plastic hard thing to put on your head to protect it. A helmet, H-E-L-M-E-T. Uh, here is a 
sleeping mat, a mat that you can put down and, and sleep on. It's often used for camping, I suppose. Oh. This is my toolbox where I keep all my tools. I think tools might be a, a separate video in itself because there's so many in there. Okay. General storage here. General storage. Storing loads of stuff. Uh, I've got one hand because I'm holding the phone, so I don't want to <laughs> open too many boxes. What's over here? Uh, down there, in this I uh, IKEA bag, a lot of plastic bottles, and they're there because in Germany they recycle bottles, and you can get money back for them. When you pay for a bottle, you pay an extra 25 cents. And that's your deposit. D-E-P-O-S-I-T. That's your deposit. And you get that 25 cents back if you take the bottles back to the shop. Which is a great system, I think, for recycling. But it does mean that I have to always have a huge bag of plastic bottles in my basement. Uh... Kitchen roll. Kitchen roll. A roll for the kitchen. Kitchen roll. Okay, guys, I think this video is coming to an end because I'm running out of uh, things to show you. Oh, wait, I walked straight past this. This thing that you push a baby in. There's a few words for it, actually. Um, an old, in, in the past, they always used to be called um, a pram. P-R-A-M, pram. But nowadays, people call it a buggy. Which is a bit confusing, because some types of cars, like a car that you drive on the beach, is called a buggy. But uh, if you want to be specific, you could call it a baby buggy. And it's, this one is quite big, but if you have a smaller one, maybe that folds up very easily, um, and usually for older kids, that's called a push chair. Push chair. Okay. Um, who's commenting down here then? Okay. Magnet in Portuguese is Ima. Okay, there's some root there. Ima, Ima, magnet. Uh, helmet, yep, thanks for writing that one. I didn't write it on the paper. Mat, yep, sleeping mat. Toolbox. Hey, thanks, you're like my, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just realised I was pointing the camera at the floor. Hey, let's talk about that stuff on the floor. Look at that. So this is my extension cable. Ah, we already looked at the word cable. Add to the word, add to it the beginning of that word, extension. Like to extend, to make something longer. My extension cable. Why do I have an extension cable? Well, because in this basement, there is only one plug socket. Can you believe it? There is only one plug socket. I use so many electrical things down here. My lights. Okay, my camera has a battery. My keyboard, electric drum kit, um, other stuff. And there's only one plug socket. Look, right here. And it's on the other side from where I use all the stuff. So I have to have this extension cable. It goes down there behind this, what's this called? Drawer, that's right, behind this drawer. On the floor down there, past the buggy, all the way down here, and here's where it lives. And this cable, I don't know what it's called, this, this cable um, extends my um, internet. I put the internet through a cable upstairs in a plug in the wall. And then if you plug this in, it brings the internet anywhere. And here is my um, 
wireless router that I bought for the basement. And I plugged it in before this live, but then I never signed in to, I never connected to this particular Wi-Fi um, box. So I hope the connection was okay for you guys. I'm going to watch it back later and see. Isn't too risky to plug so many things into one socket. I hope not. I hope not. Um, these lights, they're not very powerful. They're um, constant lights. So the light is on all the time. In the past, I've done some photography with flashlights where they go and they put a lot of light out for a split second and they really use a lot of electricity. Um, these ones, not so much. And if I've got four of these on, it's not, it's not that bad. Um, I. That's probably the most I use. Maybe I have the drum kit, and the light on at the same time, but I don't think that's a lot of power coming out of that. Anyway, I'm sure there's fuses in there, right, to stop a surge. I don't know. Not an electrician. Okay. Um. Yeah, people watching this later, if you if you managed to watch this far, if it wasn't so boring for you, thank you. Um, and please comment with what future videos you'd like me to make. And I plan to do more lives because lives is a way of um, normally this. Look at it. This we're at thirty seven minutes, and to make thirty seven minutes of content of the stuff I normally make takes a lot of hours, a lot of hours of writing, filming and editing. So I'm going to do more lives and you will maybe discover more about the real me as I be spontaneous. And you can ask questions. This is the great thing about lives. I like it so much. You can ask questions. Somebody's asking. Uh, thankfully, there is an emergency exit. Yes, very. You've been concentrating. We, we talked about that earlier. Uh, you should add a small fire extinguisher just in case. That's a very, I never thought about that, but that is a very good point, Hugo. Merci. Um, yeah, I should get a small fire extinguisher down here. Uh, excellent video. Thank you, Mark. Um, Hugo says, thanks. The first life was great. Mark says, thanks. Well, that is the perfect way to end it. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. And, um, Keep watching my videos, please, and keep commenting and telling me how I can improve and how I can help you to learn more English. So I'll say good night or have a nice day. It's not night time where you are. Bye.